you, Mark. Several mayors from around the state are among those responding to the governor's budget plans. Our team coverage continues now with News 8's Ted Copy, who is on the scene in Hartford with that part of the story. Local leaders like mayors and first selectmen were here in Hartford today for the budget address and most left breathing a sigh of relief, but also looking for more details. It was almost like a celebration at the Connecticut Conference of Municipalities after the mayors and first selectmen learned the governor is proposing level funding from the state for many municipal aid programs. They say it's nice to have a governor who remembers what it's like to be a mayor. Both as a lawmaker and as a mayor, I can tell you that no one has ever uttered the kinds of words that Dan Malloy has uttered today. We've never had a governor present a budget like this that doesn't balance the budget on the backs of local towns and cities. Never. We're always got a target on our back. And while it's the best news property taxpayers could hope for, New Haven Mayor John DeStefano says the tough times are not over yet. A lot of us have to solve some problems back home uh, that are somewhat of our own making. Uh, I've signed every bargaining unit agreement that exists in New Haven, so I have ownership of uh, some of the unsustainable pension plans and health care plans that we have to fix. And it's hard enough fixing those on our own terms without having to solve the state's problems, too. So I'm grateful to the governor. Across the hall, Republican mayors and first selectmen say Malloy's message was positive, but stopped short, especially when it comes to laying off state employees and relief from state mandates. While we're appreciative of the revenue enhancements, we certainly ask the legislature and the governor to reconsider uh, the property tax exemption because it impacts the middle-class residents of this state right in the gut. One point that New Haven Mayor John DeStefano made today is that none of this means anything if Connecticut doesn't start creating jobs and creating them soon. We're on the scene in Hartford. Ted Coppy, News 8.